Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Avatar The Last Air Bender. Now I am Mike with Mike W Productions, as you possibly know. We are talking about, of course, Avatar The Last Airbender. So we will be watching, I believe, episode 7. Now this is a two-parter. So this week you're only going to get part 1. Uh, next week we will jump into part 2. So, I'm sorry, but that is just how it goes, because I'm not going to uh, take three days to edit this video. So, with that being said, guys, let's jump right into Avatar, The Last Airbender. Here we go. Alright, we are starting right off at Book 1, Water, Chapter 7, Spirit World, Winter Solstice, Part 1. That is a lot to say. And of course, we are flying around. There is a hawk with a really long tail. And Appa is flying around. Those clouds look so soft, don't they? Like you could just jump down and you'd land in a big, soft, cottony heap. Maybe you should give it a try. You're hilarious. <laughs> I'll try it! <laughs> well, he is an airbender, so... It's not as dangerous for him to do it. Turns out clouds are made of water. Yeah, you think? <laughs> eh, faster drying, just like the uh, firebenders when they get wet. They just heat themselves up until it all dries up. It's like a scar. Something's killing the forest, apparently. Okay. Fire Nation! Those evil savages make me sick. They have no respect for- Shh. What? I'm not allowed to be angry? No. Not anymore. <laughs> it's the Avatar's job to protect nature. But I don't know how to do my job. That's why we're going to the North Pole. To find you a teacher. Right. Yeah. But there's no one who could teach me how to be the Avatar. Monkey Atsu said that Avatar Roku would help me. The Avatar before you? Right. He died over a hundred years ago. How are you supposed to talk to him? Exactly. I don't know. Uncle Momo gets it. Leave. Where are you? Uncle Iro! Over here. <laughs> it's taking a break. Why don't you join me in these hot springs and soak away your troubles? My troubles cannot be soaked away. <laughs> it's time to go! Not with those anger issues. You should take your teacher's advice and relax a little. Right. Temperature's just right. I heated it myself. It's not really a hot spring if you're the hot to the spring. Get out of the water! Very well. On second thought. Oh boy. Kids show. Hey Aang, are you ready to be cheered up? No. <laughs> Cheered me up. Ow! It. These acorns are everywhere, Aang. That means the forest will grow back. Just give it, you know, a hundred years. When I saw the flying bison, I thought it was impossible. But those markings... Are you the Avatar child? A little bit. My village desperately needs your help. So this village... Ouch, yeah, it looks like it's been... Kind of beat up a little bit. So, is there something I can help you with? I'm not sure. Right. I'm not our village is in crisis. He's our only hope. Please help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. But a spirit monster comes and attacks our village. He is Heibai, the black and white spirit. Oh, the black and Why white spirits. Each of the last three nights, he has abducted one of our own. We are especially fearful because the winter solstice draws near. So a spirit is kidnapping people. Okay. As the solstice approaches, the natural world and the spirit world grow closer and closer until the line between them is blurred completely. Okay. Who better to resolve a crisis between our world and the spirit world and the Avatar himself. True. A bridge between man and spirits. Right, that's me. <laughs> hey, great. I don't know. Aang, you seem a little unsure about all this. 
Yeah, that might be because I don't know anything at all about the spirit world. Right. It's not like there's someone to teach me this stuff. True. Yeah. We're all gonna get eaten by a spirit monster. <laughs> Good amount of confidence there. Who's there? A meadow bowl. Meadow bowl, okay. Yeah, a mouse made a rumbling sound, sure. He's a Fire Nation soldier. Wow, Earth Nation. He's no ordinary soldier. This is the Fire Lord's brother, the Dragon of the West. Oh boy. The once great General Iroh. But okay. Now, he's our prisoner. We did not know that. I mean, we did, but... We didn't really know that he was a general. We didn't really know that he was called the dragon. Hello, spirit, can you hear me? This is the avatar speaking. Hello, anyone home? Well, sun's going down real quick. The sun's getting real low. The sun's going down. The sun is set. Where are you, hey bye? Well, spirit, uh, I hereby ask you to please leave this village in peace. <laughs> Official. That's kind of scary. You must be the Hey by Spirit. My name is. <laughs> Wow, pretty quick. Uh, did you not destroy everything? It doesn't seem too interested in what he's saying. Right. You should go help him. No, only the Avatar stands a chance against the Heibai. Aang will figure out the right thing to do, Sokka. So sure of herself. Find things and listen? Job is spirit bridge. Avatar has a lot of jobs. I command you to turn around now. Ow! Should have asked him to turn around. Hey, bye! Over here! Think. <laughs> I don't want to fight him unless I have to. Yeah. Now you're gonna have to. Uncle, Uncle, where are you? Something's not right here. That pile of rocks. Right. Looks like there's been a landslide, sir. Land doesn't slide uphill. I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> it moved naturally. Of course. My uncle's been captured by earthbenders. <laughs> yeah, I would stay above the tree line. <laughs> Disappeared. That's weird. Oh wow. There's a bear? I failed. A little bit. They have chocobos. We're taking you to face justice. Right. But where specifically? A place you're quite familiar with, actually. You once laid siege to it for 600 days. Wow. Ah, the great city of Ba Sing Se. Cool. It was greater than you were, apparently. <laughs> I acknowledge my defeat at Ba Sing Se. After 600 days away from home, my men were tired, and I was tired. And I'm still tired. <laughs> Whoops. Couldn't he just... Oh, he left a flip-flop. I was like, couldn't he, he just, like, melt the metal off of himself? I would be shocked if the Avatar returned without him. <laughs> be shocked. The sun is rising. Perhaps he will return soon. What? No, I'm right here. No, I'm oh, right he's here. blue. He must be in the spirit world. <laughs> Remember, he did get knocked out. I'm in the spirit world. Yeah, good job. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's Uncle Iroh. 
He is a rhino lizard? I'm the bridge between the worlds, right? All I have to do is figure out what I have to do. But once I do that, no problem. Okay. Papa, hey buddy, I'm right here. But I guess you can't see me either. Nope. Avatar Roku, how can I talk to you? Find him, maybe? Saga? That's a dragon. That's definitely not Sokka. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> There's no air in the spirit world. I can't airbend in the spirit world. I can't airbend in the spirit world. Because there's no air to air pins. Everything's dead. The only reason why you're there is probably because you're in, co in a coma. <sighs> cool. Oh, it's the fire avatar. You're Avatar Roku's animal guide. Yep. Is there some way for me to talk to Roku? <gasps> Oh yeah, your body's like a mile away too. <laughs> he sees it? Wow, that's weird. The cuffs are loose and they jangle around and bump my wrists. It would help me if you would tighten them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ow, dude. That's what I'm saying, why couldn't he just like melt them off? They're going to the fi oh, the fire temple. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? No! You can go through stuff, dude. I don't understand. This is just a statue of Roku. Okay. Is that what Roku wants to talk to me about? A comet? Right. When can I talk to him? It's a calendar, and the light will reach Roku on the solstice. So that's when I'll be able to speak to Roku? Oh, when the light hits the statue. Okay. But I can't wait that long. I need to save Sokka now! Okay. <laughs> Sand surfing. We have to do something now! I agree. He must be dealt with immediately and severely. Okay. Our best hope is to go back to the village and wait. The Avatar. Now you have to choose. Go after your uncle or go after the Avatar. What is more important to you? <laughs> hey, look at that. The bear. Where's Sokka? I don't know. These dangerous hands must be crushed. Wow. Uh, good choice. Surrender yourselves. It's five against two. You're clearly outnumbered. Eh, outnumbered, but maybe not outskilled. Ah, uh, that's true. But you are clearly outmatched. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. See what I mean when I was talking on the uh, last episode? The earthbenders can bend boulders by themselves if they're strong enough. Even multiple ones. He used his head as a shield. Oh! Ow. <laughs> now would you please put on some clothes? Right. Please. Came out of nowhere. Oh wow. You are the spirit of this forest. Now I understand. You're upset and angry because your home was burned down. Right. When I saw the forest had burned, I was sad and upset. But my friend gave me hope that the forest would grow back. Yep. Okay. Eh, 
How are we gonna get out now? What happened? You were trapped in the spirit world for 24 hours. How are you feeling? Like I seriously need to use the bathroom. True. Thank you, Avatar. If only there were a way to repay you for what you've done. You could give us some supplies and some money. <laughs> hey, it's fair. What is it? I need to talk to Roku. And I think I found a way to contact his spirit. Right. That's great. Creepy, but great. There's a temple on a crescent-shaped island. And if I go there on the solstice, I'll be able to speak with him. But the solstice is tomorrow. Right. Yeah, and there's one more problem. A little bit. The island is in the Fire Nation. Little problem. <laughs> yeah. That's why this is part two. So, that is the episode. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, that was episode number seven of Avatar The Last Airbender. We're moving right along on this journey. Now, um, this episode was pretty cool. We got to know uh, why this spirit animal was attacking this little village. And that is because the Fire Nation came in and burned some trees down and upset the uh, forest spirits. And so... We resolved that, but we also have a, another challenge, which is going to see the fire <coughs> avatar, um, the last uh, spirit of the avatar before Aang. And one little problem is that it is in the Fire Nation. It's in an island that's not uh, occupied. It doesn't look like it's occupied, at least... But they have to go there and talk to the, well, at least Aang has to talk to the last avatar of the state, which would be the fire, uh, the fire avatar. So, uh, it's going to be an interesting episode, getting there, getting that whole thing done, um, seeing what they need uh, avatar Aang to do is going to be pretty interesting. All in all, this in, this episode was pretty interesting. We built up some stuff. We know a little bit about the um, the spirit uh, world, and we do know that Uncle Iroh can see into the spirit world, apparently. We don't know how that happens yet. I don't even really remember if they explain it in the next couple of seasons but all in all this episode was a pretty good one and i hope the uh hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did if you did enjoy this episode uh go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down if that's okay uh here in a little bit there will be a little subscribe button popped up up here somewhere for you guys so if you want to hit that give it a little tap all you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. And if you guys aren't quite ready for that, I will have um, a few little uh, videos down here for you to watch uh, as well if you're not quite ready to hit the little subscribe button yet. So, with that being said, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank you specifically for getting this far in the video, and we will see you next time for part two. Peace.